We rolling? Are we rolling? You see what that is? That is the freaking boat. This is this is it. This is open water 2021. We are in the town of Sioux Narrows, Gill's Trading Post. Hope to be soon a retailer of Catch and Cook. I haven't even asked them yet, but I got the contact info, so hopefully they're gonna be selling Catch and Cook here. But anyways, we uh, we are headed a little further south to the Rainy River. It is the start of April. Walleye season is open till the middle of April there, and then it shuts down for spawn. Yeah, it's just we got the Lumacraft. Like life, life is so good. Ice season is over, and uh, about another hour drive, and we're gonna be launching the competitor. Wow, this, this is exciting. It's supposed to be plus 21 today. Welcome to the Rainy River. Um, I have fished the Rainy quite a bit in the spring, more so for sturgeon on the Minnesota side. You cannot fish them on the Ontario side. I haven't done too much walleye fishing. I have walleye fished here with my good buddy Johnny O'Connor. You may re remember him from the uh, Pine Falls Walleye Smackdown, that trip we did, I guess, two falls ago. But uh, Johnny grew up in this area and he, he took me walleye fishing here. Uh, must have been during your six years ago and uh, we crushed them. We crushed them, some of the best walleye fishing I've ever had. So that memory is stuck in my head and uh, it's a dangerous memory because of how incredible the fishing was. But uh, Johnny might be joining me this afternoon. That's, that's what he tells me if he shows up. But anyways, I'm gonna launch, start fishing by myself. Gonna do some scouting around. I really don't know too much about the stretch river, but I have good mapping and the Lumacraft is loaded. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Here we go, open water, baby. First things first, wear your life jacket. Oh, it feels good. Welcome back to the boat. We're on the rainy. Apparently the water is like record lows, um, which scares me because I, I have hit rocks on the rainy before when the water was not at record lows. So I'm gonna be putting a lot of faith in my Lake Master chip and just, I'm not in a rush to go anywhere. It's the first day, don't wanna start the year off with it and hitting a rock. But yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. We're looking for spring walleyes. That's the goal. Season is open till April 14th before they close it for spawn. And uh, no crazy objective aside from catching some walleyes and maybe cooking a couple on the boat. So uh, just happy to be kicking off the season again. And this is a pretty unique fishery that we have so close. So the border kind of splits down the middle. Uh, you can't go into the States right now, obviously. Um, so we're gonna stay on the Canadian side and uh, see what we can find. Finally. We worked way too hard for that fish. We are hooked up. Feels a little better. Way better. That is a little bit more like it. That's a real walleye. Chowed the jig. All right, going back. That one's a little too big to eat. That's it, jig and a minnow. Nothing too fancy. We got uh, some rapids behind us and we're just kind of fishing a big back eddy. Um, haven't really found too much of a pattern. Kind of been thrown around in <laughs> 10 feet to 30 feet of water today. Just a lot of, a lot of casting a lot of covering territory. I think we're gonna give this another five or 10 minutes or we're gonna go pick up Johnny at the launch. The problem is my memories from the Rainy River with Johnny were just, it, it was just such insane walleye fishing that that's always what I compare it to, so. It's Do we wanna try here? Yeah, it looks kind of slower there. Uh, we're in six right now, right under the back. Johnny's on. Feels like a sucker though. Nice captain. That is a wallet. Yeah, we should take that. Look if it's a fish or a stick or a snag. Ooh, this that's, might that's be a big one. Oh, oh, oh. I thought for sure I was snagged. I think you're snagged, Jake. Johnny and I are reliving some memories. <laughs> Johnny and I picked matching outfits today. 
good scoop. 27. Johnny just always puts me on the big ones right there. Wow, look at that. That's nice. Wow. That took no time. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. I feel like we need to give a little more introduction to Johnny. Johnny's the guy that always beats me at KBI. You've won it what, six times, seven times? Not yet, but. Twice. Uh, Andy has the KBI record. Um, Johnny and I fished this, how many years ago was it? That was 2013, so that's what, seven, eight years ago? Something like that. And Johnny is a fish knob, and last time we were here was one of the best, one of your best walleye experiences. Yeah, they're, they're all big, and you know, I don't think we could catch a small fish for, uh, we couldn't do any wrong. It was so good. Um, okay, so what are we fishing? It's a sandbar? Sandbar, rock, current, secrets. Everything, lots of secrets. We're catching a couple. Almost. I think this one's gonna eat, Jay. Town almost knocked him over. <laughs> you see that stutter step? Oh yeah, if you're running a full oh, well, that's fish. Snagged? Yeah, that was snagged again. <laughs> <laughs> We're so bad at fishing. Are we gonna need a net on this? Uh, I don't know. That's a big head shape. That's a pretty nice one. Huh? I'm so bad at fishing. It's, <laughs> it's been a while. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm stuck on the net. <laughs> oh, that's bigger. Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny knows where these walleyes live. I'm gonna take no credit for any of this. <laughs> All right, let's throw it on the board. 28. They are getting fat. They're coming into spawn. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> Johnny knows where they live. So we're not eating this one. Well, well, we'll, we'll let this one go. Next one. Johnny is a fantastic, fantastic guide and net man. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Johnny, what just happened? Well, I finally caught a nice one, so uh, kind of might have one up you on this one. Yeah, I think so. Let's see what we got here. Boom. There he is. That's big. Yeah, it's nice. Nice and thick. Throw him on the board. 28? Yeah, 27 three quarters. Nice. Give me one more look. Nice. Beauty. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Probably eight pounds. Yep, eight, nine pounds. Nice graceful release. Boom. I know last time when Johnny and I were filming together, we had a jig talk. And I'm not sure what the take home is from this, um, other than fish with someone who's better at fishing than you are. Because I always learn when I fish with Johnny, you learn something every time. I think I'm gonna put on something with a little bit of sparkle now that the sun's kind of hitting it a little bit brighter. Ooh, John, Johnny's talking color now. Sparkle, you said. Look at that right there, I think that's the one. Perfect. It's got some glitter, the sun's setting. What were you saying? Often the hooks just bend out? Yeah, the big walleye is in the current. If you don't have a good hook, it just straightens it out and it bends it back and they pop off. When you're trying to stop a big walleye, when he's wallowing in the fast stuff, it's like, yeah. That's a lot of pressure on the hook compared to normal, just vertical up and down on a lake. Yeah, pulling both ways and straight back and all sorts of bad things happen. So, if I was just normal vertical jigging, I'd probably be using a 6'3", six, 6.5 six foot rod. But when we're doing this pitch, jig pitching, whatever you want to call it, Tossing. When you're tossing a jig versus just vertically fishing, it is nicer to have a longer rod. It does give you a little more of a shock absorber on those big head shakes. I'm using a seven and a half foot medium light. This is a rod that I, probably my favorite all around rod. It's an NRX. I, I, I don't think they make it anymore. They brought it back for like a one time run, but this is what I use for hair jigs, for smaller swim baits and for pitching jigs, it's good too. I, I think Johnny's got something around seven, seven feet long, but. Yeah, seven and a half, seven foot, something softer tip so you can kind of work it through the rocks and uh have enough length that you can kind of control the fish if you get a bigger bigger bite. Johnny was using some five pound, which cuts the current a little bit better, um, but the 10 pound braid is what I use on, you know, a lot of my stuff, 2,500 size spool, 10 or eight pound fluoro. And the one thing that is different about this, which it, it is a little gimmicky, but it actually helps a lot, especially if you're not fishing with a live or with a, with a barb, but that little 
rubber piece on there. I'll show a close up of, of these bait buttons. You could use a bit of a twister tail, which I know is like such an old school grandpa type thing to do, but just something to keep the minnow on because it's all about, it's the same thing when using soft, soft plastics, it's like using a little bit of crazy glue. Whatever's gonna keep your bait in the water and keep you from fumbling around. So that little keeper, you know, maybe helps me get a couple more fish out of every minnow and helps you need all, me. You need all the help you can get, Jay. Helps me out fish Johnny. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get to. It's gonna happen, something big. 30. That was definitely the craziest fishing experience I've ever had though. Like, the second day we were out there, I saw a... Got him? Yeah. Ooh, that looks decent. That looks, that looks pretty nice. It looks nice. You want a net? Feels good. I didn't really get a great look at it, it just came up there. It, it was just wide. all white head thrashing. I hit it so hard too. This is on an artificial too, on the paddle tail. I don't think he's that big, Jay. No? You're making him seem really big. You're really, just bulldog, really playing this up for the camera. Ah, he's probably, probably just a sturgeon or a white sucker or something. That was way bigger than I thought. <laughs> you want me to grab the net? Yeah, you can grab the net. Johnny, coming back. Yeah, keep him right there. Yeah, that looks so big, Johnny. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, let's throw him on the board. Yeah, 29. 29. Nice. Good job, buddy. Beauty. Awesome. You're so good <laughs> with the releases. Nice. That nice. was awesome. Okay. Show me what we're doing. No more jig and minnow. No more jig and minnow, just a dime store uh, jig here with a little Z-Man. Uh, I don't even know what this is, turbo shot or something, but just popping along and he, he engulfed it. Nice, how, how deep do you think you were there? It's about uh, two, three feet. <laughs> really? Right on the sandbar. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about. And this is the same bait button I end up using. It's not off the device, but you can see how the minnow wants to curl himself off there. So it's just a little piece of rubber that I slide on. It helps keep the minnow straight too for like a, a better sort of presentation there. But Johnny's busy missing fish behind me. A lot of swinging and missing. Don't know what to say. Rainy River is pretty phenomenal. The amount of fish that come through this river in the spring is, is just crazy. And, and it depends on the year, right? Like if there's this being an earlier spring is probably better for more fish coming in. Yeah, and water levels and water clarity and all those things and water temperature. There's lots of things that change your success and factors you have to think in where you fish and how you fish and Johnny's a biologist so he knows these things <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really buy a pole for it though either I just took a piece of conduit and drilled a hole in one end Ooh, it's kind of is that a, is that a uh, fish Johnny it's a fish but I don't think it's big it it's just it, sitting though. there you don't think it's big <laughs> I don't think so Johnny this could be it oh, that's maybe. a stick it's got to be a stick it's, a stick. it's got to be a stick what is it doing? I'm pretty sure it's a sucker. It's doing weird things. It is, it was such a weird bite too. Oh yeah. He's an eater. Are you gonna hook that one for me, Jay, or what? Yeah, I'll do it. All right, that's what Johnny is doing damage with. That little goofy looking swim bait. I'm saying 26, oh, 27. Nice. Did you want to hold it? That's all right. It's too late now. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna try a swim bait now. I don't think that's the swim bait that's making the difference, Jay. It's the angler's soft hands. It's, uh, it's the orange line. Peach. Yeah. No, this is actually tangerine. Oh, tangerine, sorry. Yeah. Just fish it real slow, just dragging it. Yeah. I don't think it matters. No. Like, usually there's enough flow. Nice one. Oh. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's just. You have to chase this one down? <laughs> I don't know. It's looking like sucker. Yeah. <laughs> one of the biggest things if you're gonna walleye fish is take Johnny O'Connor along. And second is bottom contact. Like making sure that your bait's on the bottom. When I'm watching like a, a, a beginner walleye fish, typically they're just like ripping it way too fast or keeping it, you know, halfway up in the water column. You want it. Johnny's like dragging his swim bait on the bottom. And my minnow, same thing. Like you can even hop it and let it sit there for a couple seconds. There's all the time that we're dragging our bass baits on the bottom, our Ned rigs and the wallies are eating it. So it's like low and slow. Yeah, and especially in current, all the fish are on the bottom. They're not, you know, suspended or doing anything like that. Yeah. They're holding tight. And if they are suspended, that's a little secret pattern that Johnny's not gonna tell you about. Absolutely not. Don't even mention that. 
That's a fish. Johnny's hooked up. Feels big. He's making it seem real big. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, he's uh, he's, he's not good. small. I don't think so. It's it's just laying there though. <laughs> Thirty incher to end the day. Oh, oh. <laughs> that, that's pretty big. That, that's a nice one, Jay. You're good, Johnny. You started slow, but you're ending on a high note. Nice Show one. me. Yeah, that's thick, thick all the way through. I think that's the biggest one yet. I don't know if it's the biggest one. <laughs> They're all the same. 29, yeah, right under 29. Amazing. Another big one. <laughs> They're all big today, Jay. Oh. Well, we started with jigs and minnows, and I think like our biggest ones have came on soft plastics. Yeah, all my fish over 27 have all been on that little Z-Man, uh, whatever they are here. Diesel, diesel minnows. Diesel minnow. That's what you need, smell color. Well, we were gonna fish for a little bit longer, but Team Plaid <laughs> won today. Uh, what a start to the open water season. Thanks to Johnny for putting me on the fish. I didn't do too much, I just drove the boat. I Johnny didn't do too much either. I just kind of stood here and made a few casts, enjoyed the great weather. This Fun. was unreal. Rainy River, springtime, season closes, I think April 14th. So by the time you see this video, there may be a couple days left, but uh, you know, year round, the Rainy's a pretty awesome fishery. Where Johnny grew up, and he, he uh, maybe he'll take me out again. Hopefully. Oh, and don't forget to wear your life jacket. Look at matching life jackets too. Z-Man, if you're watching this video, send Johnny some smelts. Big? Nope. Sure? Uh, you're fighting it down current, so they feel different. This river is just incredible. <laughs> He's it's not actually, that small. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. <laughs> well, we thought we were done for the night, but apparently not. That one was on a jig I made just before leaving. On the Slick Shiner jig, going back. Right there. Just like a 3.8 three, 3 inch swim bait. It just shows you, you don't need live bait. We started with live bait, thinking that's what we needed, and now like our two biggest, three biggest fish, Johnny's two or three biggest fish just came on artificial. So a lot more fun than dragging a minnow. You know, you can work it a little quicker as well, but. Wow. Little. Sorry? I thought it was little. Oh, that one looks big. I think it's a sturgeon side hook. I don't think it's a fair hook because I pulled it. I didn't feel anything and then it took off. I think it's big. I think you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Johnny's just a casual, really, like, he seems so casual, but he wins tournaments and catches big fish, so he, he plays it off like he's not trying that hard. What's with all the bubbles going on here? <laughs> it's not It's small. not a tiny one. No. Though. Maybe like a... 28? Yeah, 28. <laughs> <laughs> that was a 28 incher for Johnny. The video ended like how many fish ago? This is insane. <laughs> and Johnny's catching them while I'm unhooking his fish. <laughs> All the boats left. Everyone went back to the launch. Prime time. Last cast. Last cast it. Well, now we're really done, guys. That's just a little taste of the early season fishing. And it's like that every time you come. <laughs> Yeah, that's the beauty of the Rainy River. You can drive a long way to... You can, yeah. I, the thing about the Rainy is it can turn chocolate milk and there can be sticks all the way across and you will hate fishing. But you can have days like this. Thank you guys for watching. Go follow Johnny on Instagram. He, he posts some funny stuff. 